207 Blast. Now, in real estate, we have something called the 1% rule. If you take the 1% rule, right, out of $44,900 property, that means to hit the 1% rule, you need to be bringing in 490 bucks in rent. Well, this particular property almost doubles that, right? So they're only renting it for 750 And if they were somebody who was in the game all day, every day, eat, sleep, breathe this stuff like I do, they'd be renting it for 900 bucks. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sale show, folks. Thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. I think Toledo is one of the best markets for investors looking for cash flow, right? I could say that. Anybody could say that. I'm sure if you talk to a broker who lives in Indy, they're going to say that. You talk to a cat who lives in Detroit, they'll say that. You talk to a cat that lives in Boise, Idaho, they'll say that, right? But what's cool about Toledo is the pricing, it backs that up. Check this deal out. 207 Pulaski, okay? 44.9, right? $44,900, right? This particular property has a long-term tenant in there. They are paying $750 a month, right? Now, in real estate, we have something called the 1% rule. If you take the 1% rule, right, out of $44,900 property, that means to hit the 1% rule, you need to be bringing in $490 in rent. Well, this particular property almost doubles that, right? Currently being managed by a small mom-and-pop landlord who just wants out the business. They got this one, and they got another one, which is also for sale on Holton Wise TV, so make sure you're subscribed. Uh, and they just want out of the business. This is something they do on the side. They're not interested in it. They don't like it. Newsflash, guys. People don't really like their fucking landlord, okay? So they just want out, right? So they're only renting it for seven fifty. And if they were somebody who was in the game all day, every day, eat, sleep, breathe this stuff like I do, they'd be renting it for 900 bucks, right? So the deal's actually almost double the 1% rule, right? We're like, you're right there at the 2% rule, y'all, okay? That's how sweet. Actually, it's basically almost exactly it slash a little bit above it, right? Because it's like, you know. It would be like, yeah, it's like right above the 2% rule, right? Because if it was 45, you double that, it's 900, but it's not, you know, you got that extra 100 bucks less. I don't know what the little decimal point is, but we're above the 2% rule. And that's what you get when you do it professionally managed by people who eat, breathe, sleep this stuff, right? So it's good on its face at 750 in rent as a throwaway investment that you don't pay attention to. It's really good when you get professional property management in there and you increase that rent up to market rent. Speaking of professional property management, the sponsor of today's show, the sponsor of this episode, the company I've partnered with to handle all the management for all of my Toledo deals, y'all. Oz Realty, okay? You probably have seen if it's on the screen right now, you are seeing it. If it was on the screen previously, I don't know what the fuck Tyler's doing when he's editing these videos, y'all. He's he's throwing shit up there sometimes. At some point or another, you've probably seen. I got Oz Realty's contact information on the screen because they are the people that you want to talk to in regards to getting this thing professionally managed, getting it operating at its full earning potential, right? A lot of you that watch my show, you're out-of-state investors. You need on-the-ground uh, on the ground support, a boots-on-the-ground team, okay? Holton Wise, we are located in Cleveland, but we operate in the best cash flow markets across the U.S. of A., right? So you'll see Holton Wise in Cleveland. You'll see Holton Wise in Cincinnati. You'll see Holton Wise in Toledo. You'll see Holton Wise in Detroit. You'll see Holton Wise in Indiana. You'll see Holton Wise in Baltimore. You'll see us in Memphis, okay? But, folks, I'm not building out the infrastructure to have hourly employees working for me in every one of those markets to provide you all property management. I'm here to provide you property management services and the turnkey experience, but I can't do it as one particular company. So what I do is I go out to each of these markets and I partner with the locals, the guys that know these markets inside and out, the people that have been there to do that every single day, right? Can't be sending my maintenance team across the USA and I don't want that many hourly employees. Healthcare is expensive, y'all. So I outsource that to some badass partners. And my partner in Toledo, it's Oz Realty, y'all. So those are the people I suggest you talk to about managing it. You don't have to, though, because this is Holden Weiss TV. Anything you buy here is a la carte. 
you could just buy the property and do it on your own. You could buy the property, you could contact Oz Realty, and you could work with them. Hell, you could buy the property, contact Oz Realty, and tell Angelo, the owner there, to fuck himself. That's fine, too. It is up to you guys, okay? It's a la carte. I'm here to provide you guys as many or as few turnkey solutions as you want for your rental properties. But the number speaks for themselves, dude. You can't get better than this, right? So if that makes sense, you want to buy this, the the process from here, you're going to have to make your offer sight unseen. We're not going to be bothering that tenant. You can send your offer to my team, sales at HoltonWise.com. Include pre-approval if you're financing or proof of funds if you're paying cash. If you want to finance but you don't have a lender, let me know. I got lenders for investors all over America and even for national lenders, right? I've been doing this a long time, guys. I sold over $200 million worth of properties, cheap ones too, right? Like you take $45,000 houses. You don't have many houses you got to sell to get up to $200 million. Grab a calculator. It's, 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 a, it's a lot. I don't know what the number is, but like it's like ass ton, okay? It's a lot. Now, I said you got to make that offer sight unseen. That does not mean I advocate for you not doing your due diligence. We're just not going to be sending every random person who wants to think about being a real estate investor to bother this tenant, right? This, these folks, they're good people. They got a life to live. They can't have all you guys bothering them. No, we're going to make sure you have an offer that the seller will accept and that you're serious and that you're qualified. At that point, we can make that offer contingent on an inspection so you can do all the proper due diligence at that time. Then after that, it closes, and you're free to do with the property whatever you want. You're a real estate investor. You're a landlord now. Manage it yourself. Hired a badass team in Toledo, Oz Realty. That's what I think you should do, unless you're local, in which case you probably do want to manage it yourself. Save that money. Or hire a completely different team that I don't know about. Totally up to you. It's your property. Do with it what you want. I'm just here to provide you solutions. Should you choose to utilize them, that's all up to you guys. Let's roll. 207 Pulaski. This will be like the perfect little starter house for like a, a rental. Add to your portfolio. Exterior's in good condition. It sounds like the tenant's a nice guy. That's a little caddy wampus, but that's an easy fix. One side just sunk in.
Well, hello, puppies. Oh, boy. Mm -mm. It should be good. You're good, you're good, you're good. I did my pain so slow enough to have. Dude, you gotta be kidding me, it died. You could just hold it like that. Can I? That's how I did the Delmar one. I mean, unless it just works, it'd be uh, preferable. Is it the batteries or the gimbal? Batteries. I'm just telling you, the batteries are. Kitchen, I think it's just basically the basement. Yeah, it's okay. I don't like it, but yeah, that's kind of what happened at Delmar with me. I specifically changed the batteries too when we got here, right. I'm gonna see if I can just buy my house because obviously something up with it. The nice thing is with the three points, I can hold it to my chest and just kind of yeah, bang it. Right. You can still kind of make it work. Yeah. Just gotta get the basement and we'll be good to go. Yep. Sir, you turn that light on? Yeah. I was like, oh shit, it's auto light. Yeah, I saw a switch and I was like, oh shit. That should be it. Right, you got the electric panels already? Yep. And we're good. That's from the damn water bowl going right out to the corner. <laughs> when you signed that light up there, I seen that's where it was fucking coming from. Yeah. yeah. It looks like it's coming from up. Yeah, right there's where the fucking kettle's at. Yep. But I knocked the water bowl over it. Oh, that's what ah, okay. <laughs> okay. I caught that when you guys shine the light up in here. I'm looking like, where the fuck's the water coming from? It makes sense. And then, of course, man, I knocked the damn water bowl over it. Yep, yep with the wood floors. Yeah. Just come straight down through. I got cars too, so I totally get it. Yeah. I'm sorry, oh, I thought the bitch only get one dollar, she comes back with two. <laughs> you know. And that was fucking almost a year ago, and they're still fucking on my nerves. I don't know how that works. That beats a plumbing leak, right? So that? So it beats a plumbing leak. Very true. That's what we thought it was. We were like, oh, so you got a plumbing leak. Yeah. No, so, just some bumps. It's just these boys. <laughs> yeah. So you can see right there in the corner where that dog bone's at. Yeah. yeah. It's fucking, it went straight through there. It's right there. Which I'm going to pull this shit up anyways and replace the whole fucking floor here. And slowly make my way. Yeah. It's real weird doing the floor. Cool. Get rid of this carpet shit. Of course, dogs and kids and carpet. No dice. No, no dice, there. never. Yeah. Carpet and stuff like that. Wait, don't have that shit like this right here. <laughs> exactly. 
Exactly. Yeah. I get yeah. you. I totally get it. You go to Home Depot, get your little fucking, uh, couple of fucked up mop head things you can throw in the garbage, you can get that fucking thing. Yeah, you shop in the one on the floor. Yep. Hey, that's just water cleaner. Hell yeah. Yep. And this in a couple houses, so it's, yeah. It makes it a whole lot easier. Oh, hell yeah, it does. It's a lot cheaper to fucking buy in that land than for yourself. Oh, yeah. That's And even that can come up with the water underneath it. Did this shit to Max White's kitchen. She had me fucking redo the whole damn kitchen for her. Yeah, it was a thousand fucking dollars for a damn kitchen. It was a little bit bigger. It's probably about from here to the wall there. Ain't that crazy? This thousand floor. dollars just for just floor? the floor. And that was that fucking plastic land in the floor. Right. I guess with not the not the cardboard shit. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Plastic the shit. Tax yeah. stuff. Okay. A thousand fucking dollars for the kitchen. Shit ain't cheap. Man. Crazy. No, I wasn't. Mind blowing. How much the charger for this shit? You know. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.